Thomas is a minister, Carla an interpreter, Alice a journalist, Zana a lobbyist, and finally there is Udo an MEP. They are spending a whole week in the European Parliament building in Strasbourg. They are part of the 180 young people from 23 countries who participate in the third edition of the model European Union. These five people represent the position that participants can hold during the simulation. They explain to us their motivation to take part in this event, their job, but also what they have learned over the course of this week. Well, the reason why I take part in this project, I think, is just I'm quite enthusiastic about the European Union, the European integration process. Basic day for the Minister of the Council, I would say you get up early, quite early, and, and then it gets started. You have to talk to the fellow ministers, you have to work on last amendments, you have to convince the other people before it's getting started. And then you have to sit there and discuss in the formal discussion and you have to defend what you, uh, what you propose and you have to make arguments for, arguments against, you have to be picky, you have to be very careful and uh, at the end of the day you will have to come to a compromise with the, with the other fellow ministers. I think, if I think about if I take something away from this, um, definitely that Europe is not just an abstract, it's not just institutions, it's not just uh, frameworks, treaties and so on, but it's, it's about the people, it's about the people getting together. The job of a lobbyist is uh, to bring expertise uh, to the council to, and to the parliament. We had a lot of scientific research to look for, to bring uh, the, to fundament the arguments of the people that uh, were in favor of our cause, basically. Okay, I decided to take part in this project because uh, I've never been in a simulation and I thought it would be interesting to 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 take a, a, a to, to take an overview of everything I've studied so far uh, I mean to the real world we are trying to buy some votes you know like it's the job of the big companies yes. Yes. that's our biggest argument is money you know yeah, I decided to apply for this program because I'm studying translation and interpreting. Uh, so this is a very good experience and I can take advantage of this uh, session to improve my interpretation skills. To tell the truth, it's been very difficult and I'm not very satisfied with the result, but I know, I hope it gets better in time. Champignon. <laughs> Yeah, it's very helpful for us to to get to know each other and to get to know other countries and other cultures and yeah somehow it really enforces the European spirit. Um, I chose to apply to the MEU because I think coming from a particularly Eurosceptic Euro country um, it was interesting to get involved because there's very little going on in the UK um, and also I really wanted to get an insight of the Parliament. Um, I think as an experience the beginning was particularly difficult because I wasn't exactly aware of what the role consisted of but quite quickly I was um, I got into it fine. I think the press conference at the beginning was difficult because I'm shy but after that it was it was great it was really interesting. I decided to take part uh, in this initiative because I, I am a person with very different interests. Uh, the point is I don't study anything related to this, not international relations or European studies or anything of the kind. The political debate, the arguments people use, it's something that fascinates me. Uh, that's why, although studying medicine, I'm still here. What I learned here is that it's not in the formal debate and discussion in Parliament that big changes take place. It's like uh, off stage when you're actually debating informally with other people and making arrangements that you can actually get things to work and make some compromises and create platforms of understanding. Finally, the week is over and it has been a great success according to several participants and organizers. And many already have the MEU 2011 on their mind.